few years ago when our close friend and mentor uh, and colleague, uh, Dr. Steinman, let us know that um, unfortunately he has been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Uh, unfortunately, in the past months, uh, Dr. Steinman passed away. But uh, what we really wanted to do is to honor his memory and the fact that he has discovered dendritic cells and has been awarded Nobel Prize uh, in Medicine and Physiology last year. His research has been pivotal to the development of improved types of vaccines against infectious diseases and novel approaches to fighting cancer. In fact, he prolonged his own life with a new therapy based on his Nobel Prize winning research into the body's immune system. Ralph was always very excited about the work that was being done here and of course his focus uh, in his later years was on cancer vaccines and so it, we're very honored to be here to celebrate the uh, opening of the center, the Ralph Steinman Center for Cancer Vaccines. We wanted to kind of formalize the, the existing program at Baylor that we started in 1998, really using dendritic cell vaccines in cancer but to use this occasion to formalize this effort and create this center and name it in the memory of, of Ralph Steinman, I think there are two goals that we want to achieve with this. One is to keep him with us, uh, but the second one is also to uh, attract young people, to train new scientists who will dedicate their lives and careers to tumor immunotherapy. So incredibly successful in his contributions, basically the human condition which is what immunology is all about. I think for him the most important thing would be for the work to continue, really, for the work to continue. And, and here at, at, uh, at Baylor, they're, they're doing amazing things, and I think they'll continue on with the uh, development of the cancer vaccine. So for us as a family, it's, uh, it's his legacy, and it's, it's a way of keeping him with all of us.